We've all heard that hydration is essential for good health. Our bodies are around 70% water, and we need to get water into all of our cells for optimum energy and the function of our key organs. But the problem is, not all water is created equal, and there's some really cool tricks you can do to actually increase hydration. Because when we wanna hydrate our bodies, it's not just about getting the H2O, it's also about getting the right kind of minerals and even some other additives that can give our bodies really good energy and health. And this is why I wanna go into our archives of our channel here and bring forth one of our videos on five ways to supercharge your water for greater health, energy, fat loss, and recovery. I know you're really gonna love this. I'm gonna play the video for you in just a second. And I also wanna say, if you are not optimizing your water, meaning you're not taking minerals every single day, you're not doing some of these other elements I cover in this video, this is a huge and simple area of health improvement for you and your family. So supercharge your water using the tips in today's video and your health will thank you for it. All right, so the first way on this list is to add minerals to your water. And you've certainly heard me talk about this. You've been hanging out on our Fit Father and Fit Mother channels. There's so many good ways to add minerals. The simple way I often recommend is getting some pink Himalayan sea salt. So the difference between this and like table salt is table salt is sodium chloride, a sodium and a chloride molecule together in a crystal, which is good. Pink Himalayan sea salt is also sodium chloride, but it also has over 80 different trace minerals in it as well, which gives it its, its cool color. So a good way to get minerals in, particularly in the morning, Morning, your first big glass of water, which I recommend at least 20 to 32 ounces within one hour of waking up to get the rehydration process, this is great. Now, you can also get some Celtic sea salt. Celtic sea salt is another wonderful option that's super overlooked because everyone's talking about pink Himalayan sea salt. Celtic sea salt has magnesium, it has chloride, it has phosphorus, it has so many other good things in it that's just really great. Because remember, our life on this planet is like filled with water and the minerals are concentrated in the sea. And what Celtic sea salt is, the dried bit of that happens to come from France, so it's nice and fancy, and then you can have that and it's really good. Like other, other ways, if you wanna get a lot of trace minerals, is something like a trace mineral drop. So you can find these on Amazon or a local grocery store. It'll have some other things like boron and lithium, which are powerful, boron can raise testosterone levels in men. Lithium is a nice mood stabilizer. So these are other cool options you can throw in your water. Me personally, I do like a full juiced up mineralized water first thing in the morning. I get water, I have pink Himalayan sea salt, I have trace minerals, and it's just a really great way to start the day. Now, the second way is you can actually add citrus to your water, but I'm specifically talking about lemons and limes. And you've probably heard a lot of people talk about drink lemon water in the morning. And there's a reason why so many people love this habit and feel so good. Lemon is actually rich in something called citric acid, which is why we call it a citrus fruit. There's a particular kind of acid that is in there, and there's a lot of benefits when we do consume that. The first thing is it actually helps wake our digestive system up. Now, our first digestive organ, the stomach, after we actually drink something goes into the stomach, is an acidic organ. And the citric acid actually really helps get that whole pH system going really nice in the stomach, so it's good first thing in the morning. But it's not just like citric acid in these citrus fruits. There's also vitamin C, which is great for your immune system. It helps stimulate your collagen for connective tissue, which is really wonderful. And there's also a lot of other phytonutrients in these, in these citrus fruits that actually have been shown to aid in weight loss. Now, you can't just like drink lemon water and eat like crap and lose weight, but they have shown in some studies that if you drink lemon water in conjunction with a healthy diet, it can speed up the weight loss process. And there's a lot of other benefits as well. Some of the compounds in lemon and citrus actually help prevent kidney stones, which is kind of cool. It just helps the system work really well. And a lot of people use it as like a detoxifying kind of thing. But without using that as a vague word, there are good compounds in here that absolutely help you. And what I think is really cool is this is, you know, has acids in it, it's acidic, but the byproducts of lemon and lime when they're metabolized by the body are actually alkaline, which is cool. It actually makes the body have a more alkaline pH and it's a good thing for the system. So you can definitely squeeze some of that in your water in the morning, very, very good option. So the third water tip I have for you is to add some apple cider vinegar to your water. And this is another health practice so, so many people swear by and because it's so, so beneficial. Now, there's a brand that I do recend if possible you can get. It's Bragg, B-R-A-G-G, apple cider vinegar. You can see it here. And you want to get the kind of apple cider vinegar that has the mother. And what the mother is is actually a bunch of probiotics that are floating in the apple cider vinegar. So you get the good probiotic benefits. And uh, apple cider vinegar has a unique kind of acid in it called acetic acid. So the citric acid from the citrus, acetic acid from apple cider vinegar, and there's so many health benefits that are research proven. One of my favorite ones is if you take about, I would say, I like to do on the higher side, so I like to do at least two teaspoons up to a tablespoon, but even at a dose of like one to two teaspoons is okay. 
It actually helps stabilize your blood sugar before you eat. So where they found this, if you take apple cider vinegar in some water before you have a meal, that glycemic response you get from food is totally like blunted and really nice and stable. So that's a really good thing for anyone who wants to have good blood sugar, basically all of us. Or if you have any diabetes, prediabetes, it's a good thing. Also helps normalize blood pressure also good for reducing inflammation. So just overall a really good thing, and of course you get the probiotics in there as well. And you only need to do this once per day, and there's many ways you could get apple cider vinegar in. Some people do like the capsules, but I think those are kind of lame, and you actually just want to get the full thing and make sure you get enough of a dose. So I do a full tablespoon in water, and I chug that thing on down, and then I like to rinse my mouth out after the fact so I don't have a lot of the acid sitting in my teeth uh, doing the enamel stuff, so that's just a good kind of concept. But apple cider vinegar is a very good move. Now, next on our list, number four, is something you probably haven't heard of, and that's actually adding baking soda to your water. So baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, which is one of the main molecules that our body uses to actually increase pH, make our bodies more alkaline. Our kidneys actually reabsorb sodium bicarbonate, and the concept here is that you can actually take this an hour before exercise, and it makes your body more alkaline. It is such a powerful alkalizer for the body that when we're exercising and our muscles are burning, a lot of this is because they become more acidic. We've heard of lactic acid that builds up when there's not enough oxygen in our muscles. And when lactic acid builds up, we get this burning sensation and we're not able to make muscle contractions. Well, the cool thing is it's research proven that you can take a good healthy serving of baking soda in water one to two hours before training and it acts as a lactic acid buffer. It basically buffers out a lot of that lactate and it gives you immediate performance benefits. Now you do need to take a lot of this stuff for it to work. And the research shows you wanna take 0.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. So for most people, that's gonna look like a full tablespoon of baking soda, which is around 17 grams, up to a tablespoon and a little bit of change. So it's a lot. And with that, there are the possibilities of you having gastrointestinal issues. This is like something that I'm not saying you should do. I'm just letting you know that high level athletes do do this as one of the most potent ergogenic performance enhancing aids. So if you're someone out there who wants to do a long run or a CrossFit workout or jujitsu or a heavy weightlifting metabolic resistance training workout, you could try taking some baking soda in water and just know that the main side effects would be gastrointestinal. I did have a friend who legitimately did poop himself in a commercial gym from taking baking soda before doing squats. True story. This is possible, but I also do know that there are Olympic athletes who do this stuff because it's just so powerful for increasing your performance. So tread cautiously, but baking soda can work for you. Now, finally, last on our list is to use a whole bunch of beautiful herbal teas in your water. Tea is so good. These are all these plants that we know that have medicinal properties. You steep them in some hot water and you get to reap the benefits. And I, I wanna show you a couple of my favorite teas that I brought here. Um, this is a brand called Organic India. I love all of their teas. And the base of their teas is an herb called Tulsi, which is also known as holy basil. And this is a herb that helps the body like basically reduce stress, gently gives you energy, lowers cortisol levels, increases immune strength, gives you greater well-being. This one's mixed with green tea, so there's a little bit of caffeine. I use this tea all the time, oftentimes before I shoot video, before uh, productive work blocks. It's just a really, really good tea. And not all of them are caffeinated. They're Tulsi nighttime tea that's mixed in with some lavender and cam chamomile is also super good. I also love teas for digestion. Uh, if you've ever had a meal and you don't wanna feel bloated afterwards, there's a couple herbs that are really great for that. And one is peppermint. Uh, it's really good, it's a good digestive tonic. So is fennel and stuff like that. So I have something from another brand that I love called Traditional Medicinal. So this is called Belly Comfort. And this one has peppermint, fennel, ginger, papaya, and rose hip and cinnamon. So all great herbs in this little tea bag. And we all know herbs and spices are so good for us and teas are one of the easiest ways to get that in. So practically speaking, you need a simple way to heat up water to get into the habit of using more tea. I have one of those electric kettles I literally just plug into a wall outlet. You just press the on button, it heats up water. I almost constantly have that thing running and I'm making some kind of tea. So I like energizing teas in the morning. I like digestive teas and a little bit after a meal. And then nighttime teas for relaxation are all great. And again, the two brands that are really great is Organic India and Traditional Medicinals. Any of their teas are wonderful, highly recommend it. So hope you got some good ideas. Mineralize your morning in the water. Maybe you also add that lemon and the apple cider vinegar and get like a supercharged morning mineral drink. Do teas throughout the day. If you're brave enough, try the sodium bicarbonate pre-workout and overall you have some good ideas now how to supercharge your water for better taste, better performance and all of the above. Hope you found this valuable, my friend. Hydration is so important and if you like this level of health education and you're not a member of our programs, 
I can't even tell you how amazing it's gonna be when you do join. It's just gonna open up this whole world of amazing stuff into a simple plan that you can follow to benefit yourself and your family. We have plans for fit dads and fit moms or fit dads and moms in training. If you wanna lose weight, build muscle, we have the best communities and programs for you. So you can check those out in the links below in the description. And of course we have free meal plans as well and free workouts in the description that you can check out just to get a taste for what we do and join our email list. So thank you, my friend. Go forth and drink more supercharged water. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi signing off. I'll talk to you very soon.